Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So Dr. Uma Johnson says Kamala Harris's camp offered him $10,000 for an interview. Dr. Uma Johnson is the latest public figure to expose Vice President Kamala Harris's camp for paying influencers to interview the candidate. Uma criticized radio host Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley for taking money from the Harris camp to shame black people into voting. Dr. Umar said the Harris campaign approached him with an offer of $10,000 to do an interview with Harris. Black vote ain't for sale no more, Umar said in a live stream video. Black vote ain't for sale. We bordering on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Umar chastised syndicated radio host Ricky Smiley for crying on the radio in support of Kamala Harris. Umar said, Ricky Smiley, I love you, but crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother, that's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't get on your radio show and cry for Kamala Uma continued, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. Then Uma turned his attention to Steve Harvey, who went viral for telling black people to shut up and vote. Uma said, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley only support Harris because they are getting paid. Y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on, he said. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we're not going to get nothing out of that vote, but they are getting paid. Y'all being bought. Uma said the Harris camp offered him $10,000 for an interview with Harris, but he declined. I don't want your money, but we can definitely do the interview, he said. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. King Kong consciousness ain't for sale. I'm one of the real ones. <laughs> Silver back Garvey Gorilla. Oh my goodness. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not one of these goofy ASS rappers whose whole life is nothing but what you can buy and own. You're dealing with real African DNA. This is real ancestral energy over here. I'm no Ricky Smiley, Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. <laughs> Dr. Uma also provided text messages from Harris' campaign to validate his claim. So the text message says, Hello, Dr. Uma Johnson, something, something. From the Harris 2024 team, you are a big part of the Black community. Can you help us by completing a Zoom meeting with VP Kamala Harris, paying something are looking for about an hour of your time. Please advise if you would like to complete the Zoom call. Your help can get us across the finish line. Harris 2024. And Dr. Uma <laughs> texted back and he said, Peace and Pan-Africanism. I hope that all is well. I'm not interested in your money. However, I am very interested in having the Zoom conversation with Vice President Harris to discuss our needs and her plans for the Black community. This Zoom must be live-casted to the national Black community and may not be pre-recorded. I promise to be completely respectful of the vice president, but I will ask direct questions about miseducation, mass incarceration, police brutality, economic strangulation, gentrification, migrant crisis, separations, and, and end the need for a federal anti-black hate crime bills. Check out the video, guys. Vote ain't for sale no more. 
Black vote ain't for sale. We bartering on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother? That's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. Don't you do that, my brother. If you want to cry for Kabama Harris, if you want to cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers, but if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we see? I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we're not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know we're not going to get nothing out of that vote. Y'all know y'all not, we not going to get nothing out of the vote, but they being paid, y'all being bought. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. I don't want your money, but we can definitely do the interview. They offer me 10K for an interview with Kamala Harris. Yes, we can do the interview. Keep your damn money. King Kong consciousness ain't for sale. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. I'm one of the real ones. Silverback Garvey Gorilla. Don't come to me with no propositions for money. I don't live for no money. I'm not one of these goofy ass rappers whose whole life is nothing but what you can buy and own. You're dealing with real African DNA. This is real ancestral energy over here. I'm not no Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation on November the 4th. You don't drop no check off and say, get the Negroes to the plantation. Dr. Umar is something else. He needs to stop pretending he can't be boy because we know he can. Dr. Umar needs the money for his fake school that fake school that he's been working on for the past 15 years no 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 scratch that at least 20 years he's been working on this fake school for young boys young black boys but yet the kids are not even kids anymore they are grown men now that's how long he's been pretending to work on the school but taking people's cash apps taking people's paypal money <laughs> i'm not sure if i believe this text because i feel like dr umar could be jumping on the bandwagon you see there's been a lot of people a lot of big influencers coming out saying that harris's team been hitting them up for interviews because they want to use those big influencers platforms who knows with umar he could be just jumping on the bandwagon you just never know with these frauds i don't know i just don't see kamala's team messaging umar to be on his platform i i just don't see it the things that umar talks about i i don't see it this text could be all photoshop you just never know but whatever now let me play the clip of ricky smiley talking crazy and crying like a maniac Check this out. For her, uh, uh, if you sit at home and you don't support her, you're su you you are definitely supporting Donald Trump. You can vote for who you want to, but don't be trying to encourage other people and sit up there and put bad stuff. Where's that same energy for Donald Trump? Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I'm, saying? I'm, I'm just like, don't and, and, and vote for not, him. It is what it is. They're not even doing, y'all not even out here doing real research. Then look at her record. If you do the research or whatever, stop believing everything you read and do real research, you can see what her record is. You can see what she have done. I think you can Google what have Kamala Harris done for the black community or things that black, that, that black people benefit from a lot. Idiot fools like Ricky Smiley can go to hell. You are mad because I want to vote who I want to vote for because I actually did my research and want to vote for who I want to vote for. Ricky Smiley, you ain't going to make me do nothing I don't want to do. And forget you, I'm going to vote for whoever I want to vote for based off of my research and what you going to do about it besides sit there and keep crying on the radio. Shut up, boy. This is 
what Mega Evers died for. This is what Rosa Parks went to jail for. All of the sacrifices that black people had to make. Uh, uh, your grandmother's cleaning up white people's house and cleaning and scrubbing floors and doing all of this stuff. All these black people made all these sacrifices for us where we can have this opportunity and then you get a boy oh boy they were tearing him up under his own video everyone was just not having it it's about time black people are waking up they see through the bs now every comment was just wow check out these some of these comments i want to read some to you guys here's one comment a man that has put on a dress for money can never shame me ever in this lifetime. You can't be serious. I agree. Ricky Smiley used to do comedy, dressed as a woman, an old woman. I guess he's a comedian. I don't find him funny. But yeah, dressed as a woman. So unfunny, so cringe. But let's move on. This one says, I'm so proud of these comments. Finally, the community has seen the light and the lies. It's on now. Ricky didn't give me one policy reason to vote for Kamala. I am not an identity voter. I'm a policy voter and I'm voting for the closed borders, no wars, no inflation, and low interest rates. <laughs> This one says, Ricky Smiley, I am a free black. I vote for whoever I want to vote for. You showed us you aren't free. You are paid. <laughs> this one says, I am not voting based on color. This one says, proud black men from California who will never vote for Kamala. Ouch. This is absolutely pure one billion percent comedy vote for her because she black and we black <laughs> this one says it's so sad how blind how blind our people can be you told people to do research on harris don't worry we have and we know she's a corrupt prosecutor and politician mm. this one says they paid him this one says, y'all want me to vote for her so a Delta can swear in and an AKA on MLK Day? Symbolism over policies, huh? Man, y'all get the F out of here. This one says, exactly. As someone simply put it, I'm voting for a commander in chief, not a celebrity in chief. This one says, do not give your vote away. The candidate should earn your vote. We give our vote away without reasoning, without logic, without policies. This one says, supporting a candidate who will not align with your interests is stupid. This one says, Roland Martin, Joy Reid, Charlemagne the, the Ungod. And their antics push me closer to voting other. But this right here solidifies my vote for Trump. These people make my skin crawl. Can't wait to get the Democrats out of office. This one says, grown men crying and talking a bunch of nonsense, a bunch of emotions, and not one fact or policy. These celebrities are wild. This one says, Charlemagne made a similar post on his Instagram and the comments weren't buying his BS either. I wonder if these boule blacks realizes that a lot of people are starting to see behind the veil. There you have it. It was so much. All the comments, they were like, nope, 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 nope. We're not going. <laughs> it was interesting to read. It was entertaining here's another clip of ricky smiley and his co-host sounding ridiculous talking about if kamala were to be elected she would be sworn in on mlk day by the first black supreme court women ataji brown johnson is her name and then she says does that not give you chills why would that give us chills why would that give us chills and then ricky smiley adding to her nonsense saying kamala who is alpha kappa alpha sorority would be sworn in by a black supreme court judge who is delta like who cares who cares so we're supposed to care because these two are in some greek sorority <laughs> really there's been hundreds of videos influencers 
are denouncing and exposing these Greek groups, calling them demonic. Some have expressed that the pledging or intake process to join these organizations is demonic, with members worshiping Greek gods and goddesses through ritualistic practices and idolizing themselves above God, okay? And also, they're saying those organizations are heavily satanic and occultist. That whole hazing process, the fact that they will call themselves Greek, meanwhile pledging allegiance to demonic entities, they don't even know. These organizations have nothing to do with Christ. Each organization worships a Greek god or goddess, which are really demons. The rituals and oaths you took bonded you covenant to those demons. And you will not be unbonded until you denounce and renounce. And they want you to vote because they are in sororities. <laughs> Gosh. And the same judge who Kamala will be sworn in by if she's elected, that same black Supreme Court judge could not define what is a woman. When they ask her, she could not define it. And she's a woman herself. See, the thing is, she know exactly what a woman is, but she couldn't say it because it would go against their little transgenderism agenda. You know? Check out this clip, guys. Let, let, me, let me just tell you something right here that could be very historic, and Kay pointed this out to me. If Kamala Harris is elected... She would be sworn in she could be sworn on in MLK by, Day by the first black Supreme and Court. And possibly by Katanji Brown Jackson. Yes. Does Stop that it. not give you chills? Stop it. Does, not, does you, that not send, Maria, just I, make I, your I, whole body I, vibrate? Maria, oh I can gosh. go deeper than that. You got a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated reading in a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated into the damn White House. What's Come wrong on, with y'all? Come on, oh, on, MLK Holiday. But y'all mad because you talking about reparations. Who was, a man, member, who was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated? Come on now. Come on now. Oh my God, game that just changed. gave me chills. Mm. That gave Rocky. me chills. Game changes, dog. Game. Man. Can you provide a definition for the word woman? Can I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. I can't. You can't? Mm, not in okay. this context. So I'm you not a biologist. The meaning of the word woman is so unclear and controversial that you can't give me a definition? Senator, in my work as a judge, what I do is I address disputes. If there's a dispute about a definition, people make arguments, and I look at the right. law, and I decide. Well, so I'm not... The fact that you can't give me a straight answer about something as fundamental as what a woman is underscores the dangers of the kind of progressive education that we are hearing about. <laughs> Just plain foolish. Foolish. This is who's in charge. This is who their position. Like, oh, this is just, it's crazy. It's crazy, okay? Wow. So listen to these entertainers because they're all actors. All of them. they playing their parts, okay? So listen to them if you want. Because this, this, oh my goodness, this, wow. That's all I can say is wow. I'm done, I'm done. Okay, you guys, thank you for tuning in. What are your thoughts? Please leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.